guys, welcome back. Um, I ran kind of out of time today. I was going to do another video on uh, Paperboy working on like some of the metal parts. Uh, but I do want to try to see if I can do something really quick here. When I had gotten this control panel, it was missing this back bar here. Okay, this was gone and it had rust holes here. Also, it was warped a little bit. I think it was warped because this back bar was taken off by somebody. I had put a new bar on here, but as you can see, it's warped. Now, if I were to, you can see how this side's touching and this side's off. If I were to go ahead and clip this into the cabinet, it would pretty much be fine. What's it hitting on here? I think it's just hitting on this clip right here. But anyways, if I were to clip this into the cabinet like that, it would go fine and it would probably stay in place. But I'm just curious if I add a little heat to it, if I can't straighten this out a little bit. So let's give it a shot real quick. Now, see how it's already starting to go down a little bit? If I put the heat way out here, it's gonna wanna curl this edge up. If I put the heat over in this area more, it's gonna wanna drop that down, usually. Not always, but usually. Want to do a little bit at a time. Don't go crazy with it. See how it's lowering more and more? Will I get it perfect? Probably not. Seeming like it's wanting to stop now. So what I'm going to do now is I got this down a lot on this side. Let's see if we can bring this side up a little bit. Okay, it's starting to come up. So what I'm doing is I'm working my heat from here towards there. What I do first is I heat up this panel just a little bit all the way around. And now I'm gonna go from here outwards and see if we can't lift that up. Don't wanna go too far to the edge again. Okay, we're getting there. We got a little bit of a hump right here. Okay, let's leave it there for a second. Let me hammer this little high spot down. It's not, when I mean high, it's not like super high. Thing gets, they get hot quick with that map gas, so I gotta kinda watch where I hold this thing. Burn my fingers off. Looking too bad at all. And sometimes when it cools, it'll go, it'll want to go back to the shape it was originally at, which it did a little bit. This side's now touching again, but this side's still in the air. This is touching on this clip over here. But this side is not lined, is not touching as much. I mean, it's already a million times better than it was, but let's go ahead and see if we can't bring this up a little bit. Heat this up a little bit again. Okay. Okay. 
That actually looks really, really good. Let's see what happens when it cools. See if it's gonna stay there or if it's gonna wanna go back down. But I'm definitely a lot happier with that. This is good because if I can get this straightened out with heat for the most part, then we just need to do a little bit of body filler to it and it's ready for paint. And I'm, I think it might stay. Still a hair low right here. Sometimes you gotta get down a little lower and look at it right now, I'm about eye level with it. And this is definitely sinking down a little bit again. I'm gonna, this corner rolls down real bad right there. I'm gonna hold this up with a screwdriver and use the weight of the metal control panel. Then I'm gonna heat right here. Try to get that to come up in the air a little bit. Looks a little straighter. Just can't touch it because it's hot. Okay. Wish I had my welding gloves over here, but I put them back. See, now we're up real bad here because it moved on me. This is just a process, and if you take your time, usually you can get it pretty good. Kind of watch what the metal is doing. Right here, it humped a little bit. See, now I, I popped it down. I don't want that. I'd rather be humped a little bit this way than that way because it'll be easier for me to fix that with, with uh, filler. Probably gonna have to turn it over again now. Probably shouldn't have hit it that hard. See how I kind of warped it again? Doesn't take a lot to warp these things. Okay, so, try not to touch this too much. Um, that's a good straight edge. Okay, we're high right here. That's not too, too bad. I guess I'll fish that part out later.
It's looking pretty good. Really not too bad. This side's up a little bit. I can pretty much fit my screwdriver under that side. Not as much over here. So what it looks like to me is this. It's got a dip right here. Now, in theory, if I heat right here, it should draw that up. Hopefully you guys can see this. Maybe I can lower it a little bit, the camera. I hope you guys can really see it moving up and down. Probably not at the angle I've had you at. Lower this down a little bit more. See, now it looks even along the tabletop. So now we've just about the same height all the way down. So now, if I can get this to cure cool like this and stay like this without this corner dipping back down, I think I'm about where I need it to be. So I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes. We'll come back and see what it looks like. All right, that looks like that's about the best it's gonna get. It's pretty flat. Got a little bit of a high spot there, but I might try to work that little spot down. Let me just see if I can't work that last little spot down. Okay, I think once that dries, that should level back out now. Not dries, once it cools off. All right, well, this is just a quick video on how to Try to, to take a tweak out of a control panel to try to straighten it out so that when you clamp it on, it's not super hard to clamp onto the cabinet because it's warped. So at least now it's not perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better and it'll fit on the cabinet a heck of a lot nicer. So, all right, that's gonna end this video. Oh, one more thing before I end it. I'm probably gonna end up just doing a whole skim coat of Bondo on the whole panel just to uh, make sure it's flat for me hitting it with a hammer and stuff like that. So, all right, guys, if you like what you're seeing, please like, subscribe. Any questions or comments, feel free to ask. Other than that, I will see you guys later.